standardized tests get a lot of hate, a lot of criticism. And just recently, they were in the news because of Stuyvesant High School. Now, Stuyvesant High School is uh, one of the nine magnet schools in New York. In this upcoming year, the 2019-2020 the freshman class will have 895 students, of which seven, one, less than 1% 1 will be black and 75% will be Asian. And the question is, how can this be? Is there some kind of racism going on? And the answer is, to get into Stuyvesant, you have to pass a standard. No, you don't just have to pass. You have to be the highest scorer on a standardized test. Now, this standardized test was created m m many years ago by Columbia uh, College University, and I think P Pearson and, and now runs it. And uh, some people have said about this t test that those who seek continued reliance on standardized tests are out of step with the growing body of evidence that confirms that these tests are infected with the racial bias. Now, uh, the question is, is a test racist because African Americans uh, do poorly on it compared to Asians? Or might there be a d different reason? Might it be perhaps culture or g genetics? And at this point, you're getting very uncomfortable and you want to turn this YouTube lecture off. Good for you, because we in America have a horrible history of racism. Slavery begins in 1619, and you should know this already, but in the late 19th, early 20th century, racism changes. Before and during the antebellum times, racism was based on the Bible. Uh, but as we come into the scientific period of the 19th, early 20th century, we have this new thing called scientific racism. Social d Darwinism, Her Herbert Spencer and, 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 and Francis D Dalton, and, and we have this thing called eugenics. Now, eugenics is not, was not a pseudoscience. It was straight up real science. All the Harvard, Yale, Princeton people d d d believed that all the, the university, the scientific folk, uh, G.K. Chesterton didn't. He was a cr critic, but that's because he was a conservative Catholic reactionary. But the smart people, Woodrow Wilson, one time president of Princeton, believed it, and in fact used that belief to, to segregate federal bureaucracy. So, and then, of course, it, it turns into uh, Nazi G G Germany, right? And eugenics. And so people get all antsy when they th think about g genetics. And I don't want to really t t talk about g genetics right now, except to say uh, Asians in America as a population group are much smarter, at least at the end of the super smart people are much smarter than white people. This is just g g true. Now, the question is, is this genetic or is this c cultural? And I don't know. That's interesting. I think it will be interesting to study that. <laughs> Good luck on that, kid. But let's go back now to Stuyvesant and say, well, what's going on there? Now, oftentimes the argument against uh, standardized tests is that rich kids can pay, not pay to get their t tests scored well by, like, like this last scandal, but pay to take, to have t tutors come in, personal tutors or classes, and that that gives them an, a leg up on these standardized tests. 
But here's the problem. New York City has a program. It's an 18-month program, a free 18-month program to help people study and prepare for this test. To me, the secret is not uh, do you have enough money, but are you going to spend your life as a 7th and 8th grade student preparing for this test? And if you're Asian, the answer is yes, of course you are. Your parents are going to make you, I, I don't know how, shaming you or guilting you, or I don't know how they do it, but their kids do that. African-American kids don't seem to do that. And you might say, well, that's because the, 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 the uh, slavery and uh, Jim Crow and redlining and, and, uh, and the answer is, well, all that stuff is true, but it's created a culture that says that tests are n not as important to, 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 to African-American kids as it is to Asian kids. The question, though, is why do we even want a school that would do this? And I don't, I'm going to stop here and, and talk about that next time. Why would you want a school that has only the smartest kids in it?